Tonight, we're here to honor and recognize the senior class of 2021. This class is very special to me. Um, you're probably one of my favorite classes that I've ever had the honor of being an SRO for. So give yourselves a round of applause. Part of that is because you're a fantastic class filled with fantastic students. Part of that is because 20 years ago, nearly to the day, I sat in a seat very similar to you as a Blue Devil on my senior night. So it's a special for me and you tonight. For those that don't know me, I'm Corporal Matthew McPeak. Some of you may know me as Tennis Ball. I'm one of the SROs for Lebanon High School. In 2013, I created the Wilson County Sheriff's Office Citizenship Award. I've awarded this to one male and one female student that exhibited extraordinary talents in leadership, compassion, integrity, and citizenship every year since. It's not always been an easy choice on account of the amazing students of Wilson County Schools. This year was no different. The senior class of 2021 is probably the greatest group of kids I've had the honor of serving as an SRO. And like I said, don't tell anybody, but you're probably my favorite class. I found it impossible to choose just two students out of this class. I wanted to award the entire class because I cannot express enough how many of you are exactly what I look for when awarding this prize. And for that, you all deserve recognition. But a choice had to be made, and after much discussion, I was able to narrow the results down to four students. However, I was unable to determine past that group. I asked others to help uh, make the choice, and we still could not come to a consensus. When that happened, it made my decision for me. For the first time in the history of this award, I decided to name four students as the 2021 recipients. The first recipient is the current FFA president, as well as the regional vice president. She won the employment skills competition through FFA and has been involved in Youth Leadership Wilson. She's also been involved in our Nature Needs class. It's a common theme you will see among tonight's recipients. This student told me that she had been around a special needs person her whole life and felt drawn to the class. I've personally witnessed her working with one student in particular and I've repeatedly been inspired by the way she is genuinely attentive and caring when working with this student. She stated to me that she loved being in the class because she believes special needs individuals are the closest thing to God we have. I've watched this student grow for four years into a kind, considerate, and compassionate young lady who I know in my heart will do great things for her community. She never fails to greet me with a smile and brightens my day no matter what mood I may be in. The first recipient of the 2021 Wilson County Sheriff's Office Citizenship Award is Kaylee Scott. The next recipient has the gift of total support for her peers. She's a member of student council and sits on the executive board. She's played softball for four years. She has a GPA of 4.25 and plans on studying criminology with a focus in criminal psychology in the fall. She also works with our special needs students and stated to me that the students in the program humble her and make her appreciate life more. I couldn't agree more with that statement. One thing that's always made her stand out to me is her unwavering support for her peers. She never missed a game of the Lady Devils run at state and could be found easily in the front row cheering on our Lady Devils, even when the chips were down sometimes. It's not uncommon for me to hear her cheering her on her team from the softball dugout throughout the entire game. She literally has everyone's back always. The second recipient of the Wilson County Sheriff's Office Citizenship Award is Landry Dixon. Yes. Yeah. 
Our first male recipient of the evening is a four-year football player. He's held a GPA of 4.0 or higher his entire high school career. He's been accepted to Suwannee, started his own clothing and apparel line, and has already shown great success as a young entrepreneur. He's also in nature, nature and Needs and told me he chose the class because of an individual student that he became friends with in middle school. He said when he got the opportunity to be with his friend again and hang out and help him learn, he jumped at the chance. He stated to me that the students in that classroom are always happy, so it's a good part of the day. He's an amazing young man who displays all the traits I look for when selecting nominees and choosing a winner for this award. He is always courteous and kind and will do great things in the future. The first male recipient of the 2021 Wilson County Sheriff's Office Citizenship Award is Kyle Scott. The final recipient for this year's Citizenship Award has been on the tennis team for four years, two years on the hockey team, two years on the golf team. He has a 4.1 GPA. He's interested in a psychology major. He's also a student helper in nature and needs and says he has a lot of fun helping out the kids. They are fun to be around. He stated to me that he has developed friendships with the students and hates that he has to graduate. I don't think I've ever heard a high school senior say that. He's one of the most humble young men I've ever been around. He's so humble, in fact, that it was hard for me to get him to talk about his accomplishments. I had to drag him out of him because he stated he hated talking about himself. This was a common message among all these students, and it speaks volumes for their character. This young man's teachers all speak highly of him, and he sets an excellent example for his peers and is respected as a leader among them. I've always found him to be helpful, courteous, and an overall respectful young man. The final Wilson County Sheriff's Office Citizenship Award goes to Lyndon Palmer. Congratulations to all this year's recipients and thank you, thank you. What you do matters. Always remember that and you will go far. Let's give them a hand. Follow SRO Tennis Ball on TikTok. You still got to tell us why you carry that tennis ball, by the way. Um, I just want to thank my family and Officer McPeep. So thank you guys so much. It was fun.